everyone, it is Sarah, and there are so many things that I love about Cartagena. I have a whole video about it. But unfortunately, there's also tons of tourist traps here, and I understand that people are trying to make a good living, and this video is not meant to hurt those people. It's simply to let tourists know what to expect when they come to this beautiful city. So if you're ready, let's head to our first tourist trap, and I'll show you how you can get around it. Do I even need to explain it? This is one of them, all right? They come up to you and they start rapping and won't go away until you pay them. Okay, let's get out of here. As you walk through the streets, you'll notice tons of traditionally dressed women in beautiful, colorful dresses. Now, to the untrained eye, you would think that they're from here, but they're actually not from here. They're called Palenqueras, and they're from a nearby town called Palenque, which was actually the first free town in the Americas. It was originally formed by runaway slaves in 1691. And their story is actually really beautiful. They would come into Cartagena every day to sell fruit in these colorful, beautiful dresses. And today, they don't really do that. They are here mainly for photos. And I totally get wanting to take a photo with them because their beautiful smiles and colorful dresses on this beautiful street would make for an epic shot. However, after about the eighth time being asked at every single corner for a photo, it can get a little exhausting. So my advice to you to avoiding this, if you don't want a photo with them, is do not make eye contact. The moment you make eye contact, they're going to ask you repeatedly for a photo. So they're very happy and excited. You just have to know that you have to pay them. So they want 10 per person. These people are trying to make an honest living. So if you take a photo with them, please pay them because this is how they make a living. But yes, technically it's a tourist trap. I loved it though. One of the most lovely things to do here is to sit out and enjoy the nightlife, but the street vendors are relentless. So if you're sitting in a courtyard at a table in an open air, you will get approached by street vendors probably every minute, and I'm not exaggerating. And they, you can say no, and they just don't leave you alone, and it's very exhausting. And I get that they have to make a living, but it kind of ruins your experience. But if you want to sit, out just go to one of the many many balconies or rooftops here and it will be just absolutely lovely <laughs> i understand that the horse-drawn carriages can be very charming and i get it it's like your cinderella but the thing is no one rides those except tourists so instead walk around the walled city there's tons of things to see here and it's a better way to sightsee Now there are two tourist traps I can't show you because right now I'm in the walled city, but these ones happen at the beach and you should definitely go to the beach if you're in Cartagena. I show you some of my favorite beach spots in my best things to do in Cartagena video. The first one is the oyster guy. He comes up to you on the beach and he offers you a oyster. Now you can say, no, I don't want it. He'll be very persistent and finally insist that he's gonna give you one as a gift. So you take the oyster, you eat the oyster, and then he says, oh, but there's one underneath. So you flip it and it's one of those oysters that is stuck together, stuck to another oyster. And so then you eat the second oyster. And then he demands payment for all of the oysters that he gifted you. So to avoid this one, don't make eye contact with them and they will leave. If you just do not look at them and completely ignore and not acknowledge them, they'll eventually just give up. Sometimes saying no just doesn't work here, which is strange. The second one is the massage ladies. Now I'm a big fan of massages, so they totally got me. Like they were so persistent and I finally gave in. But if you don't want a massage, sometimes you end up getting one anyway and then having to pay. This happened to two of my friends 
one of the massage ladies approached them and started giving them a free massage and even though they said no thank you no thank you the woman said oh it's just a gift and the next thing you know she's demanding payment for what she did and she won't leave until you pay her so if anyone tells you something's a gift just be aware because it's not a gift they're probably going to ask you for money and just ignore them especially on the beach if you say no they don't leave I don't, I don't know why Thanks for watching. If you like this video, remember to subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Sarah Funky, and watch my other videos. I have tons of travel ones, including one on the best things to do in Cartagena, which is all of my favorite things because I do love this city, and one on Medellin. So if you're visiting those two cities in Colombia, definitely check that out, and I'll see you next time.